Okay, um, I'm going to go over what I think I'm going to do with the the Austrian 3rd and 2nd Army. Um, Lord of mercy, I don't even want to start thinking about the 1st and the 4th yet. I just, I mean, they've got no supply and no reinforcements are arriving until October because um, Ostrava and Krakow have been cut off, so... Like I said, I'm trying to um, pretend that uh, everything's going to be rerouted uh, through, the, I guess, the Tisa Valley or some, I think that's a big plain area or something, part of the Great Hungarian Plain, they're calling it. Anyway, so let's go to the third, uh, the, the Austrian uh, Third and Second Army. So, as you can see here, they're cut off. They're surrounded. All their lines of communication are cut off. It's amazing, man, that just that one hex gap that I left open. And, and it was amazing to think that at, at one point I was even considering the two hex gap. And I was like, mm, I don't think that's such a good idea. And the Cossacks just popped in through. I mean, the only thing that slowed them down, obviously, is the zones of control and the river and the forest. But what a bummer, man. Um, well, I mean, you know. And then they've also, the Russians brought, the Russian 8th brought up this here. And it's so I'm, I'm not able to, so anyways, this is what I'm going to try to do with the third. Um, I'm going to see if I can get rid of this. If I can get, if I can push this Cossack cavalry out um, and then advance into that hex, uh, the second army HQ will then no longer be surrounded because it'll have a line of communication. So that'd be wonderful. However, for me to do that, I'm going to have to go into, the, like, perform a combat, obviously. So that'll be after the movement phase. So the second army HQ is going to have to stay there. And, you know, it's just up to the next turn because the Russians have already gone. So if they if the Austrians can manage to push the cavalry out and win the initiative on the next turn over the Russians, they could then get the second army HQ out, which would be amazing. But uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. It was uh, what I find interesting is that in the morning I was like completely set or just assumed that the Second Army HQ was going to have to surrender. But um, as the day went on in my head, and I just stared at the uh, the map again, I was like, wait a minute, I can like maybe figure out a way of, uh, you know, like I said, I can get rid of this Cossack cavalry. It was just so like, oh. If I could just get somebody to hear, and then you know what I mean, and then start bringing people out, but I just can't. There's just not enough because of these zones of control, like in and out, right? So I could just get enough. But if like if I had somebody with a, like if I had some cavalry, sure, with a movement of six, I could do it. But with a movement of four, it's just not going to happen. And other than that, so I think I'm going to have to bring, um, and the uh, Austrian Third Army doesn't have any supply points, so I'm going to have to bring a lot of strength points to bear just to ensure because of this freaking woods right um and no matter which way i go around um they're always going to have some woods they can always use woods uh, to defend across um so i have to bring a lot of infantry to bear due to the fact that i can't supply them which means i'm going to have to start probably grabbing somebody off here to replenish that person who went over to there which means I may have to give up the bridge hex. And it's now just come to a point of, I don't know, just being stubborn or something. I like, I just don't want to give it up, but it's like, um, <laughs> you know, I'm supposed to what give up the, you know, the whole army is going to like get crushed because uh, I didn't want to give up a freaking, like I wanted the river hex or bridge hex. Like, give me a break. Well, I, I can see me doing that. And the same thing that's just happening. I think with the first and the fourth, armies here is I just don't like there's they've stuck there they've stayed there and I'm like even though they're out of supply um and everything is telling me like obviously I've got to start doing something properly with these guys um I'm just being stubborn I don't want to give it up you know but uh reality's uh biting them in the face but uh oh well we'll see what happens but uh yeah so I'm just gonna like, do a little bit of jiggly wiggly and then hope to god that um they get, I think they just need one hit. <coughs> That'll be that. All right.